Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, we'll be unboxing and reviewing this. This is the Ender 3 Max Neo, a 3D printer that comes standard with carborundum large glass build plate, dual Z-axis motors, filament runout sensor, as well as an all metal filament feeder, 4.3 inch LCD display, and an extremely quiet running condition. Okay, so the folks out at Pergear, which is an Amazon distributor for Creality 3D printers, have sent me out this. This is the Creality Ender 3 Max Neo. So essentially it's the Ender 3 Max, which has been maxed out with all of the optional extras, all of the additions that you can add on to your 3D printers from Ender. As you can see, I've got four of the Ender 3 Pros, which have all been maxed out with all of the filament sensors, the bed leveling, and all the rest. But this comes with everything that you need rather than having to purchase it all separately and risking that all of the parts aren't for the appropriate printer, which I've had happen many times. So let's get to unboxing. So in the box, we've got a manual. We have an actual spool of filament, which is good. Power plugs, tools to put together, SD card, and other associated bits and pieces. Ooh, the screen, look at that. Enders always come really well packaged. No matter what model you get, they're not gonna be damaged in transport. And if they are, you just send them back. Look at that. This isn't gonna take as much assembly as I thought. This is basically pre-assembled. The Ender 3 Pros come like almost not assembled at all. I think this is gonna be a simple job to put together, which is, Incredible for a 3D printer. Let's actually have a look at this. This slides out like so. That's gonna come out in one piece. Oh, this is easy. Look, it just slides together. <laughs> How good is that? No assembly required. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put up on the screen a time-lapse of the process you have to go through to put the Ender 3 Pro together, and it is not a walk in the park. That is almost entirely assembled out of the box. Yes, I'm gonna to have to plug a few cords in, but that, that is a lot more user-friendly than the Ender 3 Pro. All right, so let's have a look at the instructions and make sure that this thing's completely together. Okay, so installation looks pretty simple. All that we seem to need to do is use the tools provided to bolt our gantry in place. Mount our display plate. Mount our spool holder. Plug in our Z-axis. One, two, and our control display. And that's it. I had that set up in less than five minutes, which is incredible. All right, now for the best part. <laughs> okay, so let's take a moment to discuss the features of this 3D printer. This is the Ender 3 Max Neo. It is a fused deposition modeling FDM printer. The build surface on this printer is 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters, and the height of printing is 320 millimeters, which is a huge area to print within. It has an auto bed leveling function, utilizing the latest CR Touch technology 16 point leveling system. This is the same system that I've updated all of my Ender 3 Pros to use, and this is the technology that has superseded the BL Touch leveling system. The printer supports a dual Z axis stepper motor for precision control of the gantry, which gives a more consistent print quality, reducing lines and ridges in the end print. It comes standard with a filament end sensor to detect breakage and the end of a roll of filament so that the print will stop and then resume once you have reloaded the filament, which saves a lot of money on filament in the long run. It also has a power loss recovery feature built into the operating system 
as well. Coming from the filament end sensor, we have an all metal Bowden extruder. This gives a lot more consistent feeding of the FDM material and keeps tension on that material as it's being fed into the printer. Unlike most standard printers, the build surface on this printer is a carborundum glass. It has a silent motherboard, which powers the printer, and the printer is controlled by a 4.3 inch color display, which is subsequently controlled by the knob on the front of the display. Okay, so let's turn it on. We'll print our first object, and this object is going to be used very soon in an upcoming Who Chose. And I'm really interested to see the quality of the print that this can produce. Plug her in. Oh, that's pretty cool. It even has a drawer. I need a drawer. I need this on all my printers. So the profile for this printer is actually available on Prusa Slicer. I couldn't find a Cura Slicer profile, so I'll just be using the Prusa Slicer for this printer. However, you can edit the G-code in Cura so that it adds all of the features that this includes to the Ender 3 profile. So you would just widen the bed and add in your bed leveling and your runout sensor. So I'm just gonna put in our SD card that contains the model that I've sliced and we'll run our first print. Okay, so before we start our print, we're actually going to have to adjust our Z offset so the printer knows where on the Z axis to start printing. So I'll leave a link in the description of how to troubleshoot and how to do that so that you can get this printer up and running out of the box. <laughs> so I broke the print, that didn't exactly go to plan. Uh, but that is because I need to get used to using a glass build plate such as this one. Uh, the PET G and just the sheer surface area of the print that I am printing um, requires some kind of releasing agent because that is a really, really adhesive build plate. And I'm gonna have to get used to it after using these magnetic build plates that peel away. So because I made such a mess of that last model, I wanted to do a little benchy just to test the performance of the printer and to show what it's capable of when you're using it properly. And here is the result. And that is, that is a lovely benchy. <laughs> It's that adhesion, hey, I really, I really need to fix that. <laughs> oh, wow. And there it is. Not a bad benchy at all. So as usual, not everything went to plan, <laughs> but this is a really nice offering from Creality, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. Happy hydroponicking, happy 3D printing, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> on who chose.